going on guys and welcome back to Upper Left RC. Today we're going to be taking a look at my new print slash build. My trailer. <laughs> yeah. This thing is awesome. It holds all my STX24s pretty much perfectly. This is the Gladiator wheelbase uh, and you, as you can see it fits just barely on the trailer. But I absolutely love this thing. It's a ton of fun to drive around trying to back it up around corners and stuff has been a blast and uh, I'm just shocked at how well it holds the trucks. Heck yeah, let's jump into it. All right guys, so let's take a look at this awesome new little trailer. So this thing prints in multiple pieces and then you assemble it. Um, the triangle piece here, the hitch part that I have a little screw in, the fenders and the axles and axle assemblies were all done on one print. They fit, I could print all the different pieces in one go. And then the actual bed itself, the flatbed trailer part was too big to print with everything else. So this printed separately. I also went after it with a uh, lighter and it kind of got all bubbly and scratchy, but great little print, super durable, nice. It's got a good infill on the inside. So nice and strong. Um, and then I just went to the hardware store and picked up some of these. These are two by 10 millimeter screws. You can use those for everything on the truck. Get about 20 of them, you'll be good to go. You need what, four, eight, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, four, five, I don't know, like 30 maybe <laughs> to put it together. Um, but yeah, and then any of the 1.0 size tires or the hex size will fit onto the trailer. These are the RC all wheel drive steel stamp beadlock wheels with some Mickey Thompson Baja claws some tires I had sitting around. The thing rolls great. The axles are actually just one plastic assembly. I don't know if you can see it in there spinning. Um, it's just 3D printed plastic and then the two knuckles here are open on the inside more and then come to a close at the end so they can't slide out. They're locked in there. Nice free spin. You know it's not the smoothest thing in the world but it works especially when you get weight on it they roll no problem. A little bit of weight and you're good to go. Um, this thing took, what was it, maybe 10 hours total to print, I think five for the bed and then five for all the accessories, maybe six for all the accessories. Um, but it's a ton of fun. You can see the size, I use the Gladiator for reference because it's the biggest SCX24. If we line it up, you have about that much clearance on either side and then for the wheel base itself. You can see that the rear tires are not coming off. There's a little bit of room up here. You can definitely fit one. This also comes as an enclosed trailer print. I can print the walls. They're about this high um, and it has three of them along the front. I decided not to do that. I like the open trailer look. Might get something to do like tie downs to all the trucks on here even though you don't need them just for the looks. But very cool print. Lots of fun. I really enjoyed backing this thing up with the truck um, and trying to like back it around a corner and stuff. So the way that hooks up, I have it set up to my Chevy right now because that's the uh, mount that he had set up, but ultimately it's just a little tab that sticks out here. The way it mounts to the truck, the actual assembly, is it's not actually connected, it's just wedged. You can see it's got like a lot of, a lot of play. Um, it's just wedged between these two bars here that are on the stock truck. It's got like a little C-clamp shape. That clamps on to these bars here that already exist on the truck and then sticks out the back just like that and it could mess with the modeling and make it a little shorter and stuff but I like the length it has I put a uh, 2 by 12 screw through the end and it sits right on there once I have a truck on it doesn't I mean it would be really hard to get that to actually disconnect but if you have of course, I already lost it. If you have the Maz Designs uh, screw kit for the cheat code, it actually comes with little nuts, and those nuts fit on these 2x12 screws, so I can lock it on the bottom if I don't want it to come off at all, which is really nice. But yeah, it just hooks right up, and away it goes. So I stiffened the suspension in the rear. I pretty much maxed out the shock load in the back so it doesn't squat too much. It, that's as low as it can go anyways. Um, and then I softened the front as much as I could so it didn't look like it was 
wheeling every time I drove it. I thought that looked funny. So max stiff in the rear, soft in the front. Has a bit of a muscle truck look when it's just sitting there because it's angled down a bit. Get the trailer on it, levels it out. Good to go. But yeah, ton of fun. You can see this wheel is just kind of floating in the air. Um, over time, these will start to spin more freely. They just need to be broken in a little. I put a little grease, but like I said, when you get weight on it, those wheels will spin and they don't bind up or anything. I haven't had any issues with it, so that's fine. Without the weight, it looks like that. This tire doesn't really want to spin too much because this front end of the trailer is stuck up a little bit. But yeah, tons of fun to play with. Um, the file for this is on Thingiverse. It's totally free. If you have a 3D printer, I'll leave a link to the STL file in the description below so you can print one. This is just PLA. Uh, printed it at 100% scale from what the uh, file was. I didn't change anything really. The bed was a little bit longer. I would say it was about half an inch longer this way. And it wouldn't fit on my print bed, or at least my print bed kept telling me it didn't fit. So I went in and uh, modified the length of this to be about a half inch shorter. But it still fits all my S624s, so I had my comp rig on it earlier get this thing at a full squat stretch it out and it fits great so yeah ton of fun let's get some footage driving this thing around all right let's pull the trailer out of the garage heck yeah so as you can see my little chevy doesn't have any problems or issues pulling this thing around Go nice and fast if I want to. That's about full speed. Here we go. Ooh. Jackknife the trailer a bit. <laughs> uh, this truck is very heavy. It has like 120 something or something crazy like that in grams just in the wheels and tires. And this Chevy has been converted back to a stock motor with v2 electronics and that little stock motor has no problems now that will get changed back eventually but i took the fury tech brushless setup out of this and put it in my comp rig so i put a stock motor back in it and as you can see it doesn't really have any issues pulling it been messing with it for a while and haven't had any issues yet Back it up without getting it all weird. <laughs> but yeah, those V2 electronics help a lot, but eventually I'm gonna get that stock motor out of there. It's nice jackknifing at this scale because nothing breaks. <laughs> uh, the other cool thing is, let's see if we can just lined up on camera. The uh, I found a little nut that I used to lock it in place and it's just loosely on there, but it allows me to unload my truck and then I should be able to load it as well without flipping the truck or the trailer. Get back on there and away we go. It is hot and smoky out here, but the only way to test a trailer is to drive it in the dirt and gravel. And of course I have my lightest truck pulling my heaviest truck. Try it without a load.
See if we can make it around the fire pit. It's most definitely uneven. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.